All right. So Plex, they added this week a feature that has been, I had forgotten how long it had been on their request list. I had voted for it. They have one of these things online where you can like, you get, I don't know, five votes or something and you can pick the things you want to vote for. They added a watch list. And I, it's amazing to me that this has never existed before with Plex because it seems like such an obvious thing. Every other, every streaming service has it where you say, these are the things that I want to watch. Yes, I have all this stuff in my library, but I want to watch, you know, this movie next, or I want to watch this series next or something like that. So they added this watch list. It's amazing. They, they call the whole suite of features Plex discover. Uh, I've used it. It's okay. It's definitely in beta. I, the, what the weird part about this, guys, is that Plex usually rolls out beta features to beta users and lets them sort of come to fruition. The whole new syncing, downloading thing that that now is the default for Plex was in beta for probably a year before it ever came out of beta. But it, the beta was a very public thing. I think with this... They wanted to make a splash. They saw this as a big feature. I mean, I see it as filling a huge hole, but whatever, potato, potato. They decided to do this. And so the beta is in the public releases of Plex. It is not ready for prime time yet, in my experience. Uh, it has gotten better since the day it was released. When it was released, I added a bunch of shows to my uh, Plex library or to my watch list. They were already in my Plex library. And what's cool is it's it, the reason they call it Plex discover is because you can add things that are not in your Plex library. You can tell it, I have Netflix and Apple TV plus and Hulu, and then you can add shows that you don't have the downloads for. And it will say, Oh, you can go, you know, when you say, I want to watch this, it says, Oh, well, that's available on Netflix. You say you have Netflix and, and, and depending on the device you're on, it'll even link you to that, which is amazing. So I added a bunch of the things that Lisa and I watch. And then I went in and I marked episodes that we have already watched as episodes we've already watched. And the first thing that happened was it removed those series entirely from my watch list. So I was like, that's cool. I'm like, I know that there are episodes we haven't watched, they should still be here. And I went and it was like, do you want to add this to your watch list? I'm like, yeah, just like I did five minutes ago. Cool. But that's fine. They they were able to fix that within hours. Like, th th so that part was great. So that's fixed. You mark things as watch. They uh, they still stay in your watch list. The problem is, at least as of the last time I checked, when you go to like if I go into my watch list and I say I want to play this show, it doesn't tell me what. First of all, it doesn't tell me which shows have unwatched episodes, so I have no idea whether there's new content for me or not. My watch list just contains everything, which is better than it containing nothing. I, I get this. That's improvement, but not the kind of usefulness that we want. They are working on this. So I think, you know, we have to treat this feature as beta because they call it beta, but it truly is like... Feature incomplete is what I will say. So maybe even alpha, right? It, it is not to the point of what I would call MVP, minimum viable product, right? I think you've got to track and and surface the status of whether things are watched or unwatched, especially when you start comparing it to what Netflix does or what Apple TV does with its watch next thing and all of that. But it's great to see this. So I'm I'm stoked about it. I'm in fact really excited. Just want to set everyone's expectations. Like it's it, you're not going to turn it on and go yay, or maybe you will. Maybe it works perfectly for whatever you folks want to do. But I, I, it's fantastic that they've finally started this. So excited about. It.